Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Welcome to Farid Jim. This is your friend Farid Khan. Thank you for watching my video. So today we have chosen a topic another and we would like to make a video on this topic, right? Uh, here I'm gonna show you how to find the maximum and minimum number between two numbers, right? Even you how to find maximum and minimum number between two numbers, right? We use function. So uh, go down and just we have included the library, right? H include stdio.h, right? Okay. Here I'm gonna declare two variables, right? I say that uh, maximum, maximum, right? Max is right. Int a write two number i want to enter two number in a and in b right it is a uh, listen uh, it is declaration right int mini first we have to find maximum number then uh, just we have to add the other minimum number right first we have declare uh, declare two variables right now we want to perform the main function main go down i want to declare two variable uh, to give inputs through that variable in one and n2 right so uh, uh, first of all i want to print a message print if this is a message right enter two numbers numbers right this is just uh, a message right now. Go down, scan if you will get through this spectrum. Person D, person D, sorry, person D, here, comma, in percent N1, in percent N2, right? So now we have to skip two lines, one, two. Now I want to return nothing. Return nothing, I mean zero. So now go down. We have to declare, uh, I mean uh, here we have to declare a definition. Int maxi, right? It is the just link. It is a copy of that variable, right? Then it is the same name. Int x. You can declare the same name. Int a. Int b, right? But here's it is a definition, right? It needs no semicolon. Here uh, I, I I say that uh, return. What should be return? Return. And uh, here uh, a int a and b right you can say that like this one right but if you say okay it's okay okay a greater if a is greater than b we use a compound function right uh, here right then perform a if not greater then perform b right so here we say now the here we find the maximum right maximum maximum right we declare a number uh, sorry we declare a variable another variable uh, here we equal it maximum is equal to maximum is assigned to what assign to assign to what that number maximum maxi and n1 and to write semicolon printf printf or cd sorry it is maximum it is maximum 
it will show us that this number is maximum right percent d come on what do we say maximum we want maximum right now don't worry about this let me show you so now we have to check if there is any error or not yeah there is one error it says maximum was not declared maximum oh shit we declare maximum it will sh uh, show no error now right there's no error let me check the program into two numbers I, I would like to check two number uh, three and four it is um, it is maximum number four right four is maximum now let me check again now I'm gonna enter first greater and then three place it is maximum number okay R you can declare here <coughs> you can say that person D sorry person D is maximum <coughs> okay now perform execute here three and four four is maximum right now we uh, we are going to declare one more thing right first uh, now we will uh, find the minimum right minimum number int minimum number I say that into x int y right two variable I declared <coughs> now go down just uh, we have declared it is the same but uh, I want to perform, I want to execute and uh, we needs minimum number mini mom right minimum number right now I say that after this one that mini mom is equal to mini mini as we have defined before the main function right and uh, end one and two right okay now I say that here printf printf um, person d is mini mom minimum right go here minimum so this is performed here we go down we uh, here we say that int mini int you can declare the x int y you can uh, declare another way vari variable right uh, so uh, write down we have to declare return now here we have to declare the return return what should be return if x is greater than y I'll say how can you do it in another way then y should be performed and x should be performed later if the condition is false All right and you can do this uh, you can perform this code like this one if x x is less than y then perform x then y here we say that first a should be performed here if a is not if a is not greater than y right if x is greater a is less than y then perform x right now we go here if there is any error it will point out thank you there's nothing here I'm gonna say 5 and 6 wait I have to here okay here I'm gonna 6 and 7 7 is maximum number 6 is minimum number 
right you can see here number right it's really easy now I'm gonna give it a lace and greater 7 is a maximum number and 3 is minimum number I think it is very easy you can perform uh, any time and it would not take much time you so thank you for watching my video and so you don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you